open up a couple tags here on the stream info. All right, so we're going to be talking about Gatsby. Past couple of streams have been about Gatsby lately. So we're talking about Gatsby theme recipes today. Um, it is currently live on my personal site. So this is the theme. Uh, originally, it's built on top of theme UI and originally it, oh, Look at that, we minimized our chat here. Um, hey, Naren Dev. Naren Dev? It's funny how uh, you don't, you read these things and then you, uh, saying it out loud is, sounds weird. <laughs> it's like when you read a book and then you, uh, what you say out loud and what you read in your head is completely different. Naren. India, right? Kind of on opposite time zones, so I tend to miss you. Uh, so this is... This is a Gatsby JS theme, and it was originally built on top of Theme UI. And it was one of the, the, the previous um, minor version. And the more recent update had some nice things that came with it. So I think it makes sense to, at this point, update it and kind of clean up some of these styles. Uh, some of these styles come in from the theme that I have, or the, the theme colors that I have on my main site. Um, and there's also the Elite theme. So it, come, it shows up on the, the recipes page as well. Uh, so, so there's some cleanup with that. I think I would like to make the, the pictures a little bit more standardized. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're literally on opposite times of the, I guess that weird half hour difference, but it's 1048 right now. So we probably want to clean that up a little bit because it currently jumps from four to one, which feels awkward. And then I'd like to make sure that our, the header and footer on this is something minimal or something that can otherwise be shadowed. Uh, because that will be typically typically something that the user wants to incorporate or wants to shadow in their website so they can kind of keep the same standard flow th from their main site over to the recipes page.
Okay. And then we also have a bunch of other things that we can probably update as well. So here you can see the theme UI is the it's breaking. It had some breaking changes that we need to update. Uh, so we're going to update theme UI, and then we are going to start using the components that come with theme UI. page so it's got a bunch of components that are baked in and before it felt difficult to add them into your site or into a theme and set it up to where it makes sense to work with in the users uh, you know, within the user's code as well. So, uh, before the stream, I made a branch and we did a yarn install. I think we. Probably makes sense just to wholesale upgrade everything for the moment. So we'll do a yarn upgrade interactive dash dash latest. So the theme UI stuff is breaking changes. We also got an update from React, which is kind of fun. I don't think we'll have any issues with that. And everything else seems to be something that's not a big deal. So I think what we'll do is just wholesale update all of this. And then we'll come back around and we'll have to probably modify some of the um, some of the packages that we have in our examples. So this is set up as a monorepo. We've got a packages folder and an examples folder, both of which you can see pull, get pulled into this workspace. Um, and I have an alias set up that if you type in YW, it'll do yarn workspaces. So if you see me using that, that is, that's how we deal with it. Um, but we only have Luna for our dev dependencies. That's the only dependency that we have in the main root. Um, so for the most part, what we'll be doing is um, we'll be running our example, and it is then gets through the Yarn workspaces, gets hooked up in there uh, with our Gatsby package. And so let's just take a look at the config here. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to get rid of that. And the example config. <clears throat> I think that's probably fine. I already have an Airtable key set. Um, I'm not sure if it's using the right base ID though. I suppose we can check that real quick. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that on the second monitor here. So this plugin was, this the theme rather, was made with the intention to be used with Airtable, but also set up to where we can extend it further and the user can bring in any, um, bring in the recipes from any data source essentially. Uh, base, base, where are your bases? We are, 
it's been, just a, been such a long time since I looked at this. Um, your table source. I don't remember to get the base, where the base comes from. Do we have that documented? Your Airtable base ID. Hmm. You don't have that documented anywhere, do we? Hmm. Okay. Well. So this is the recipes theme, or the recipes base that I have set in Airtable. Um. And table, I believe, is the, no, we just use the base ID and then we use the table name. So app 4Q. <laughs> Could have sworn it was. Right here. That was in the chair. Um, got a read only link. You know what? So Gatsby source Airtable uses a library called Airtable JS, which is put out by the company Airtable. <laughs> so we pass through a bunch of this configuration. Ah, I know. It's probably in their API. That's Um. Yep. So it's kind of handy, but if you just go to airtable.com slash API, that will take you directly to the API that they have set up and it hooks directly into your uh, content. Um, so the examples that they give are actually for your specific base. Um, so it's uh, on a base level. So this is one of the bases that I have. Um, so you can see here we've got base ID of APP and ends with G4Q. Uh, G4Q. Okay, so I've got this hooked up. I th think I have it hooked up to the right one, and I've got the correct API key in there. So we should be able to do yarn workspaces. I believe it's called minimal and develop. And that should run the example for us. So have you uh, built anything with Gatsby yet, Naren? Okay. Hmm, Sharp is giving us issues. So, Oh, 
is in there. Interesting. Gatsby plugin theme UI, Gatsby plugin chirp, Gatsby transformer chirp. That should be all that we need. Something went wrong with the install. Interesting. I didn't say it had any issues. node modules. That is a bummer. Okay, well. Um, I found trying to remove uh, node modules from within VS Code tends to lock it up. So this tends to work better. If I can remember the directory not empty, I know. Isn't that what force does? Dash F dash directory. Dash R is what you need. <clears throat> so let that take care of. We're gonna have to do a reinstall again. Just kind of a pain, but we will deal with it. Um, so the expectation is MDX. So we need that. Um, and I think that's probably all sufficient there. So I believe for the most part what we're gonna be doing is we have a components. Most of those I would expect to go away. And for the most part, we have two, we have one main page and then we have a template which gets used for all the other recipe pages. <clears throat> so most of these will become theme UI. And right now we do have a big element block in here. That might get pulled out too. It would be nice to split this up a little bit to make it uh, easier to shadow. So wrap element is sort of our main one of which it's not doing much. Um, so originally this had a isolation component to it and the idea was that we could completely isolate it from the main theme that a uh, user would use in Gatsby. And now that's not quite as necessary with the update. Um, so some elements of this we've, no pun intended, we've sort of removed and it's just little pieces that are hanging around still. Um, okay, so recipes, um, this is done, minimal develop. Hopefully we get a better result that time. So components, um, these are mostly going to become, get rid of that. 
context is the Yeah, these pieces are gonna kind of go away because this will be in the, the users. So shadowing in Gatsby lets you selectively selectively replace components that the V theme uses. Um, So the plugin theme UI has a file called index of which includes the styles. Um, so I don't believe we're going to need any of these. Okay, we've got a build. Sharp was just giving us issues before. So I don't think we're going to need the context anymore. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of those. Delete. Goodbye. Deleting code. Sometimes the best feeling. <coughs> and so these are going to be our components. Um, I can't remember if there's a link component, there might not be. From theme UI. I'm just gonna get rid of those. We could look at the documentation for this, but I've done a couple updates already, so I know that those are all components that can be imported. Um, but we do need to look at link. Uh, we will come back to that in a moment. Well, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't give us much help. And we want to think about both the internal and external links. So we've got um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> In a separate Gatsby theme, we started a, this is more of a general mono repo from Gatsby theme stuff I've been doing. Um, and we've got a couple packages in here. One of which is the, so originally we were doing this theme UI components and that was sort of built, that was pulled out of this recipes theme. And when we removed the isolation then it became this of which we only have a few remaining ones so it looks like we just have SVG interesting For the most part, it's just this SVG. I thought we did a link component. I wonder if it is directly in one of these. Hi, buddy. Components, site links, nope. Hmm.
Did I check layout already? I think I might have. Color toggle, footer header. Could have sworn we made a link one. Uh, articles, home page. Did I never move it out of this? Hmm. So this is the one that I was thinking of, but we might have just we might have done a smaller version of it. More compact, I guess, not necessarily smaller. Um, where would that be? Templates, maybe? Article list. So here we go. So we have a link. Ah, uh, that's what we did. Okay. So many of these. Yep, yeah, it is a theme UI. So many of these components can take a uh, prop called as and it lets you pass in another component to use instead of whatever semantic HTML element is defined. I think most of these just default to div. Uh, but that's all we really need to do there, which is kind of kind of nice. So we do want to import a link here. And we also want uh, so we'll leave wrap element in there. I think we'll probably want to pull out this helmet, this helmet section. Um, nav element is pretty decently split out already. I think that will work well to yeah I think that'll work well to shadow already. Somebody can shadow the nav element and that would let them put in their header and footer. <clears throat> So most of these we're not going to need to touch actually, which is kind of handy. Um, link to this will be Gatsby link. So that's probably going to be the main thing that we need to change. Um, going to have to import React. Uh, The default export, I don't remember now. From React. And we're going to need to import link as Gatsby link from Gatsby. So that's all squared away. Recipes. Oh, um, what we can do here is search for any links. And replace with link in that. And 
window is too big. Okay. So I think that'll clean up that. So we're still missing a context, which is in the templates. So we can, I think those are all fine. So we'll come back through, come back over to this. And we are going to do the same here. Import flex box. Adding link. Um, details and featured image and inspiration. I think those are all fine. We want to have these are all going away, as is the wrap element. Um, We might have actually deleted these from the other one. So we do use featured image. Yep. Okay. Really need to remember that hotkey. Control Shift E. Come on, Control Key. Hmm. Interesting. Got a cat meowing at me. Okay. And we're going to do the same here. Any link that we have will be. Uh, oh, we need to import that. Import link from Gatsby Inc. Oh, as from Gatsby. So this is kind of interesting. We have the bread. This uses a, the nav element, expects a crumbs. Um, guess it's probably fine. The user can always make use of the crumbs or not. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, so flex box heading, featured image, details, box. So we're probably going to have to change some of the defaults. I'm sure some of the defaults changed on the box and flex. And wrap element. We get rid of the JSX, we're not using that anymore. So the JSX, um, that tag up at the top that I just deleted, that is how theme UI, um, it has a custom Babel. No scratch my chair. <laughs> Is a custom babble. Uh, 
plugin, and what it does is it it uses that to tell what files it needs to do the replacement in. Um, but now these theme UI elements that we're importing, those will have what we need. Uh, so now we can go into the next piece. Um, can't resolve. Okay, so we need to do some of these little components. Um, So some of these are going to go away. And yeah, you can see here this is using Come on, buddy. Can you see the cat here? Here's the tail. <laughs> yes, hi. Just off camera. But his tail is directly on my keyboard. From React. And I think we're just going to use the box component here. From theme UI. And we can do box as nav. So this box will have that JSX piece for us, so we don't need to deal with that anymore. Um, guess we might as well just clean all these up right away. So same situation. Um, import React from. So, details. Do we want the, these to be a box? I suppose all we're doing right now is a P. So really what we could probably do is switch this to a text component. We can do text as p text, and I think what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that outer div because it's not necessarily needed anymore, and that'll clean up a little bit of this. And spam span ends up being. So for the most part, we're just doing this to get in the colon. So I think what we'll do is we'll just change this all that template literal. Let's get rid of the span, get rid of the span. So that ends up doing the exact same thing that we had before. Item label, check, and these check basically are just, if the value is empty or whatever, we're just spitting out kind of default text. Let's see, what's the next one? We need to do inspiration. Import react from 
React import. This is going to be a link, an external link. And then we do also have a divider in here, which uh, we may want to get rid of that. Um, I guess we'll put it in a box. I guess I can't see why that would be an issue. So I'll put it in a box. This will become divider. Let's double check on what that does. I've used that one less. So the nice thing about doing this, I knew everything was kind of pulling in this context. So by deleting that, once this all turns green, we've pretty much covered everything. So kind of a cheeky way to deal with that. Um, link or theme UI, and there should be a divider component. I believe. Yep. Um, and all that's doing is putting in that, that little bar in there. So nothing special. <coughs> this will become a link of which. The href um, I think we're gonna say as just to be certain it's going to default to that um, I think href is already a prop link where are you link 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 <coughs> So it expects an href. Nothing more to it. So some of the, as you can see, some of these are actually pretty minimal. Um, what else? I'll we'll have to check to see that that's actually coming through fine. It should just be another prop, so it should be fine. Famous last words. Um, and then I don't know if this is the best oh, practice, best way to do this, but I've also been putting my text within the link in a text. Okay, so I think that one's good. What's our next thing that's wrong? Featured image. So it's using Gatsby in it, image. Import React. Ah. It's definitely getting to the end of the day. Import. Um, Hi buddy, yes, I see you there. I might want to change the salt. I might need to pull in a consult on that and see what others think. Um, but there is an image component of which I have not Used image, image. Ow, ow, ow. Cat is scratching me. He wants attention. So I think we've got to image. Doesn't say anything when or why you would use it. So give it an SRC. Um, link, 
There's also this card. Let's change a different. So it does have a little bit of a shadow there. That might be something that we want to think about switching to. I feel like it kind of makes sense for. It kind of makes sense for this recipe theme. Slider field progress. Uh, alert embed what's embed look like oh nope okay here this is what I was thinking so we've got aspect ratio and there's also aspect image oh so it combines them I think we're going to use that actually. I'm not, I'm not sure how that's going to come in. Nor am I certain how this actually integrates with Gatsby image. So expects an SRC um, which we do No, we're not gonna. We're, I, th I think what we need to use is this aspect ratio because we will have an image. This this is the situation that we're mostly having here. So all we really want is an aspect ratio. And then we can do this. Ratio. I think we're probably going to go with a 4 3. Sort of Instagram style. I think that's a valid one. We'll find out. Um, but we can always come back to it. Nav element is the last thing that I think we need to deal with. What's this link? Yes. Okay. Same dealio, close, close, react, import, flex box from theme UI. And the cat. So this is something, yeah, can't put his tail right in my mouth. Oh, come here, buddy. So I can do the uh, um, Dr. Evil. So this is such a minimal thing that it, and all we're doing is pulling in crumbs and pushing it through to our breadcrumbs. This is something that a user could easily shadow and not, I don't think we would have to worry too much about accidentally breaking that in the future since it's such a small surface area. Um, we're not gonna use the link anymore. That can go away. We're not gonna use heading anymore. Um, so flex, I 
the flex component in theme UI only sets display as flex. All of these other pieces we now have to set ourselves if we're going to use the flex component. So what I'm going to do before we delete is go to any flex components that we have. Of which we don't have many, but um, I don't know why we're even doing flex there. We could probably get rid of flex if I try right here. We'll get rid of it for now. We can always add it back in. tend to use control X to remove things, which also, since it's the cut operation, it also copies them. Um, so this is set. Flex wrap is not. Oh, that is right. So we want to wrap this whole thing in sex because we need to use that sex prop. Um, so line items top. Mm, come on, there we go. So now flex can go away. That's, well, that's fine. Bye bye flex. Um, and box. We set a default padding and a default width. Um, we are going to want the width. So anywhere we have a box, we're probably just going to set that. Because that's already our expectation. That one I might actually leave. But this one, we're going to do this. And then I think our padding was a three. We'll add them in. Add Add that in there as well. Padding three. This needs to be a colon. So this really hasn't, but we're using the old kind. So we need to do 75 and 25. 75, 25. And we'll use it a lot of here. Okay. that we want to use. 
we might, if we add in other components, we might add in this badge, uh, not the badge, um, We would actually want to use grid. Ugh. Excuse me. Um, for that grid, right? <laughs> Select radius, slider, field progress, spinner, avatar, badge, close alert, divider, bed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that we're gonna need to. I think that's probably fine. Delete that, and that should be. Let's go ahead and just save everything. Oh, got everything saved. Okay. Ooh, we still do have some stuff. Okay. 1798 and 104. Recipe template. Old references. MDX render. So what? Um, wrap element is not defined. Mm. We didn't really decide. Should we keep that wrap element? I kind of feel like we can just get rid of it. Whatever it's doing, the nav element can just take care of. We'll see how much I regret that. Um, So we've got this helmet. I think that's gonna end up, we'll shift that out. Buddy. Yes, yeah, I know you want attention. Um, we'll just make this a div for the moment. I think what we're gonna do is we'll split out that helmet. into its own component, so that's something that can be... I don't know that anybody will want to shadow that, but I think it's worth while to. Um, have that option just in case. Well, buddy. Yes, I, I see you there. Um, and MDX context, 98 and 104. 90, I feel like these are not updated anymore. Oh, tip. Okay, so I don't think we need to do anything with this MDX render anymore. Let's, hmm, that would be the fastest way. I think if we look to see how we did the render here. Um, I 
think that uses components, article section. Okay, no. So it is rendering templates this. Okay, so just we just straight up use my MDX renderer now. That's gross. And I'm kind of surprised that actually. Oh. <laughs> this is a whole explanation. We can't have templates in here. Unless we intend to use them, and if they don't get used, they throw errors. So the only way we can get around it is to not have it be a JS file. Um, and what we do then is, when we're bootstrapping, this actually gets copied into a folder, which is why that mess is there. But, uh, what we found out that we, is we only use the MDX render, so we can get rid of the scope. So we're rendering ingredients, we're rendering directions. And, We want, I think we want a notes section, but we don't have that set up right now. <laughs> Am I a hacker? I I'm able to write code. I would not qualify that as a hacker. I think we will add this in right away. Um, but I think we will check to see if this exists first. So if recipe dot, I think we'll just call it notes dot body. Um, So if that's true, then oh. there we go. <laughs> Can you find people's IP addresses? Um there's potentially ways, but that's not something I'm going to get into here. Anytime you visit a website or otherwise reach out to a server, that server now has your IP address for better or worse. Does that answer your question? I'd also be curious why you're asking that. Maybe I shouldn't be curious. Uh, 
because it sounds like a very nefarious question. Okay. So this is the new, um, I'm gonna screw up the, this is a null coalescing. Hey, oh, how are you doing? Um, I am, so I've published a new version of this Gatsby source error table. So part of it is to update for that. Um, but I'm also glad to hear you're doing well. <laughs> I've tried to stream once a week. I got out of the habit over the holidays, but getting back into it. Um, the big thing was theme UI updated and we got some nice things in the new version of which includes the components so they've added that they they had components before but they were hard to work into the theme without things breaking potentially and the updates in the new version made that potential breakage less of an issue i feel of enough so that it makes sense to just switch over and use their components directly. So part of this is updating to the new theme UI because there is some breaking changes, um, which I we still need to finish up. Um, and part of this is switching to the components. And then the last bit, which it's starting to get kind of late here, so we may not be able to get to it, um, but I'd li like to add in a little bit more to the data part of this and make it more agnostic to specifically expecting data to come out of Airtable. So that's sort of the or the first built-in data source is Airtable, and it should be set up to where someone can bring in data from any location. Uh, you know, it, this is Gatsby, so any data source that you have in Gatsby, you should theoretically be able to push recipes into this theme. Um, but we really only have the Airtable plugin. The, the um, I would say we have it bootstrapped to where all you really need to do is add a line in your config it's called sources and that is enough to tell the plugin to look for the Airtable stuff and we expect a certain structure so as long as you sort of the um, the convention over configurations uh, consideration so as long as you meet the convention things will sort of just work out of the box for you uh, but it's also set up to where if you'd like to play around with the configuration it uh, is able to deal with that nicely. Sort of a long-winded answer to your question. <laughs> okay, let's close a bunch of these things. I think we, uh, we'll have to double check. Um, no duplicate props, and we still have an MDX context in recipes.js. Have you done a? I think you've done a Gatsby project. It, um, so for anybody watching the stream that is unaware, um, Jay Nielsen is from the Party Corgi server, uh, Discord server. Um, but I can't remember if you've done any Gatsby projects. There's been quite a bit, quite a bit of people that have joined, and I'm starting to keep part of 
or start starting to be hard to keep track of what everybody works on. Um, so we've got a MDX context in here. Here, yep. <laughs> I love that that uh, boop emoji. It cracks me up. Uh, so if you are curious and interested. Um, this should be able to, it's set up with the expectation that you can plug it into an existing Gatsby site. Um, I feel like a lot of the themes that are built expect to be the only theme. This is not built with that expectation. Um, so we could go so this is my website and the this is the main part of it which is one Gatsby theme um, and I have a link to the articles page which is the Gatsby theme that we're working on right now so they kind of are um, they can work together <clears throat> So I think we about have a green, yeah, we have a green build, but I might as well take care of that. <laughs> I can, uh, here, we'll uh, drop that link in there for you to peruse my recipe list. There's a bunch of yummy ones on there. We try to make one, we, we probably make about three to four meals a week. We make enough for leftovers. Um, and then we tend to have another meal or two at, um, at a friend's house or um, mother and or parents in law. Uh, they watch her, watch the kiddo, so we tend to go over there often. Uh, but when we do make recipes, we try to make one or two of those four be something new or something that we haven't tried before. So, if you're reading between the lines, I'm low-key making this theme so everybody adds this theme to their website and then shares the recipes with me. <laughs> All right, duplicate, 79 in recipes, yes we do, could call compiler, okay, so we've got a green build, uh, we probably still need to adjust for the So it doesn't look terrible, considering we just wholesale replaced everything. And this is the first look we're getting. Um, this is kind of odd. We might need to adjust our Gatsby query of the image to consider this. We used to just show the full image, but now we're cropping it, so the images are sort of standard size. Um, but this one gets cut off really weird, so we may need to adjust for that. Um, so this definitely didn't wrap right. We'll have to deal with that. 
Otherwise, it doesn't look terrible right now. Um, what do we want to tackle next? Oh, uh, we'll finish up the migrating. Um, so there's some pieces that we don't need. Let's get that all squared away. Um, we don't need the, we don't need this anymore. We're going to remove that. Uh, because we are getting rid of our use of this this dependency which required I guess uh, we're getting rid of all these dependencies actually so do that So the isolated theme UI was the package that we were using in concert with this isolated theme UI components. Um, and that provided isolation for our theme and that kind of dealt with some of the pain that we were running into before. Uh, in, the, in the previous version of theme UI. Uh, so that would be version 0 0.2, I believe. Yes. So 0 0.3 is the new one. Um, and it cleaned some of this stuff up. So we can, if this would stop. There we go. Um, yarn workspace. Uh, Gatsby theme recipes remove these. got a couple other we need to deal with these other breaking changes technically some of these will be dealt with in the, in the user space so we can remove those But we'll just be removing those from the examples. So we're not using the hook. Uh, color mode, we're not doing that in this theme because that was expected to come from the main user's theme. I think that's about it that we need to do. Yep, seems like it. So let's just double check, no more dependencies. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This was updated. We don't need this anymore. And we're keeping all the others. And we've already updated our Airtable version, so that's good. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's uh, save a bunch of these files and we can kind of go to the next thing. Getting pretty late here, so we might not go too much longer, but. Um, let's say. All dependencies. <laughs> I do sign my commits, so you will see a pop up in a minute. Um, <clears throat> We're just gonna wholesale because this pretty much for the most part is a wholesale replacement of all replace all components with new theme UI components. Okay. So we need to clean up a couple of our styles here. Um, I suppose this is primarily a theme UI thing, uh, but do we want to deal with the data now at all? Let's just peek. I don't quite remember what we have going on in it. I can't remember, we might have actually hard coded a piece or two of it just to get get things shipped. Um, so sources, our default is our table. So if they don't define a sources, it's going to assume that you're pulling it out of air table. Um, so you can see here we're doing schema customization. on create node and create pages. Those are the, the main Gatsby functions that we're using. Create pages makes the pages. Uh, we make a page for every recipe and we <laughs> that's funny. Um, and then we make a recipe homepage. Ah, I should probably comment out or comment what I was doing here because I don't remember. Um, so root base is recipes and that's the default so if you specify in your config root base you could potentially have this recipes page be on your main home page or be your main home page um, so if this is basically a check if somebody's passing in a false and if it is, then what we do is we make the page and then we immediately delete the page. And we do that because if somebody's passing in false, we don't want that page to show up at all. And that's the cheeky way to get around Gatsby seeing a query in a file and expecting it to be used. 
because if it isn't used, then we get errors. So that was my cheeky way to do it here. Um, so let's go ahead and write that down so we remember next time we look at this. <clears throat> Root base can be set to false, which will um, will create a dummy page with the home page component and immediately delete it if a component has a query Gatsby expects it to be used and will throw an error if it is not used. We use it and throw it away to get around or not to We use it and throw it away to avoid the user seeing this here. There we go. Comments about root base. Now. I am curious if what have we documented? Oh, we don't have it up at all, do we? Okay, oh, we do. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so it's sort of just that for this guy high view. So we don't need that anymore. I can remove that. We do have root base. Okay. It's pretty succinct documentation right now, but it works for right now. Uh, So that alpha version is now gone stable, so it will default to it will be it'll it will be the default installation, so we don't need to deal with or we can remove that as it's sort of unnecessary now. Newest air table. Um actually we'll say Airtable version has gone stable. Dead ducks. Okay. So we want to. So I think we've pretty much gotten our migration down. We probably should clean up the stylings a little bit more. So it is at least sufficient for right now. Um, then, well, 
we were going to look at the Gatsby node a little bit more. I don't know where this comes from. Outgoing message dot prototype. Okay. So this is why we need the new version. Because we run into that now. Um but we can separate map type. I wonder what our query is like too. We may need to, or want to at least adjust our query. Get so we are we are querying for all recipes here. So in our Gatsby node, we are on the on create node. We're looking for their table. Yep. So we can say here, it can also be our table recipes. Doesn't matter. As long as the query name is recipes, those will be the same depending on if they have uh, separate no types enabled or not. Okay, so that should get rid of that here. Let's go ahead and run it again just to double check. Okay, let's double check. Yep, okay. got rid of that warning. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna wanna crop. We'll adjust that first. Um, and that would be, well, let's double check the rest of this Gatsby node just to feel good about that. So we are doing an image sharp based on the source, the source. So we have an interface of which anybody can use. So when somebody adds in a source here, it will get populated in this type. child image, child MDX resolve. So these resolution things might be the only issue that we have. Particularly with this.
Because we are resolving an image sharp node with the expectation that it's coming from a data structure that's sort of like or that is what Airtable expects. Uh, so I think our child MDX resolve works fine. Um, child image sharp. So, we almost need to provide like a config. So the user can add in a config part portion of Suss out that image sharp node. We might need to do that. Um, I think we'll leave that for another PR though. Uh, let's finish some of the styling and then I think we will call it a night. So right now our crop focus is on attention. This is main, so it's the recipes. Um, let's split out this helmet component right away here. Um, so this is sort of expecting This is the home page. I think what we end up doing is we'll make a component and we'll do a um, helmet home page or well is it a home page? Helmet recipes. I guess we can do a helmet recipes and a helmet recipe. Helmet over. Okay. So this component expects a recipes. Now we can clean up some of this. Oh, we also do have a props props dot page context recipes. Hmm. I mean, we used the recipes, we used the page context, and we used the path. So I think what we'll say is page context and path.
so we need to import element recipes from components slash element recipes. I think we are just gonna, well, no, we're not gonna do one. We are gonna put the helmet right here. Um, and we need to give it a recipes. to give it a page context. And a recipe page path. And that recipe page path will be Unfortunately, I deleted it. Um, what was that called? I think it's props. Dot. Props. Dot. Recipe page. Dot path. I think that's what it was. We will find out. This needs to be capitalized, which is why, yep, okay. So we're checking to see if it exists. So if it does exist, we're gonna switch to the null coalescing thing so we don't have to have all this nested junk. things up I tell you okay props page context so this becomes that recipes props to page context I guess all you're really using is the site URL so we can switch this to be site URL So SEO needs a full URL and can't really grab that out of JavaScript um, because that tends not to be available for Helmet when it's building. Um, so the user has to put it in manually, which is kind of a bummer, but not too much we can do about it. Okay, so I think helmet is all updated here. Now we will update the helmet in the template. And what are we working with here? Kind of the same dealio. It's not quite the same, which is why I think it makes sense to have it different. 
but we can copy this. Most of this is going to be very similar. We will just wholesale grab this piece and that will replace this piece. Um, we don't need the div anymore. We don't need that div anymore. And we don't need helmet. Um, but we do want to This is going to be helmet recipe.js. So we are going to give it a recipe. Um, let's get that imported right away so we can make sure to fill things in. Um, we'll put it under nav element. Import helmet recipe from components slash helmet recipe. Okay. And this needs similar. And this should be that props.page context.site URL. And last but not least, the recipe page path should be. Slug. So I guess we don't actually need that because it's coming from the recipe. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. So what are we working with? Recipe, recipe. We will switch this to again be the new. Fancy new stuff. <laughs> recipe, 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 props. It's just going to be site URL. This is going to be site URL. Oh. Um, I think that's covered then. Like it probably makes sense to save this. Um, we did update. Jeremy about that extra div, didn't we? No, we did not. Okay. So let's get rid of that div and this div because we don't need that extra nesting in there anymore. All right. Git commit. Um, pull out helmet blocks. Hmm, we're starting to get tired here. Dumb mistakes. Uh, we can do that separate. Even though they're out of order. Whatever. Uh, 
helmet. Oh. Um. We'll just do them in reverse order. We can allow Airtable recipes from either old or new node type. Table plugin API name changed. Okay, we are all caught up to that. Uh, let's finish up this last bit of styling, I think. Um, close a bunch of these things. Apparently we should have checked. Um, can I read property path? I want to find props. Props are recipe page dot path. <sighs> So we'll log this out. And then we can just inspect it in the browser. Kind of feel like sometimes I rely on this too much. But it feels like the most effective way to do this. So we're looking on props recipe page. Data recipe page. There should be a data in there. Um, and that does not need it. There we go. Before we forget, get rid of this before we forget. Okay. So I still feel like that crop is weird there. Set the crop attention. I wonder if I need to. Ah, I know what we should do. Um, we need to crop based on. We need to change those. So we're setting both the max height and a max width. I wonder if we can crop based on aspect ratio. Because then this crop focus attention should take in to uh, or take that into effect or well, consideration, I guess. Maybe that's a better word. Gatsby. Let's take a look at the it's probably going to be from the image, image source plugin. Uh, plugins. So 
so it returns an aspect ratio. Um, we are doing a fluid. So we can set one or the other. Hmm, cap focus option. Cannot be entropy or attention. We don't need more control. Fit strategies contain and fill will not work. So, fit strategy. So we sort of want to use entropy or attention. And fit strategies contain and fill will not work. So we sort of want to max width only. generate our stuff so we'll have to give that a second um, well that's working I think we do want to look at grid um, have a good night I'm definitely getting there myself Last couple tweaks before bedtime, I think. <clears throat> what is this guru? Okay, so each prop can use the response of array syntax. So it's basically going to put it into two columns, or X number of columns, if we specify that. I think that makes sense. I think we will switch to using the grid. So right now we're doing a flex. We'll do grid. Grid. We want columns. That's whoop, wrong window. Such a weird breakpoint there. I don't know why they have a null right in the middle. So if we, so it's got four right now. So as it gets skinnier, it's gonna go two, I guess. Oh, it's, oh, it just jumps straight from four to two. I forgot, it. there used to be a bug that did not, that didn't work. So I never got used to that syntax. Um, so we can just specify the columns. So grid. Columns. 
probably want to do let's say one column two columns four columns grid and we're gonna map over and have a bunch of boxes boxes will So box doesn't actually need to specify anything then, which is kind of nice. We do still, no, we'll take it off, we'll let's see what it looks like. Ooh. So it's definitely not. So we've got three column, column. Is it columns? Yep. Stupid ass. There we go. That is what I expected to see. So we've got four, and then it bumps to two. And then it's bumped to one. And each one of these is going to have a. We do want the padding on there. So SX padding equals three. Probably want to say a gap of two, maybe. That feels pretty good. Okay, so we've switched to grid. Um, we are using the ingredients. That's the only thing that's shown there, which is, we do that because then somebody could search. So somebody could go on there and control F for chicken. Or peppers or whatever you want. Um, so I think that still makes sense. So we'll save that up. Uh, what did we do there? Covered blind. It's kind of a whatever. Um, switch recipes page to grid Okay, I do need to update some of these pictures still. And it looks like I don't quite have all of my ingredients listed in a mark darn it. Excuse me, markdown format. So 
So if we went to Chizinoki. So crap is pretty decent now. Um, that all looks pretty decent. Now if we would, I think we might actually switch this top part. Well, what's this look like? We are, because we were talking about doing a card before. What if we switched from a box to a card? That might be sort of just a drop in thing. Um, oh, that's kind of handy. Um, are we using box anywhere else in here? No, we're not. So, card, card, and card. Um, I'm going to get rid of that divider. I don't really need that anymore. I mean, I feel like it's probably fine without it. Um, so card has... Oh, cards. So, interesting. Okay, so we'll put our cards in here. That'll give us a little bit of a... So let's look at this. So, I guess we do have a little bit of a gap there. Much. Okay. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of an outline there. And I think it's appropriate for the user to style that as they see fit. Um, I'm not really have to deal with these colors too, so I'll have to work on my theme a little bit here. But that's probably fine there as a card. So is there anything that we can use to make this container do? I mean, it's kind of a container. We're gonna have to come back through and put in the theme stuff a little bit. But that's gonna need to be later. Close badge. see anything else in here that's worth using progress bar close yeah probably probably container makes sense um, And that can use, I guess we do have flex in there already. Do we need to deal with? I 
feel like we can probably just switch that flux to a container. I really deleted that poorly, didn't I? Um, It's not centered. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. A centered container. It doesn't look like it is centered. Container includes all of that. I guess we are specifically giving it boxes. With defined widths. Or does it say what it expects? No. switch back we're gonna switch back to flex okay so we want to wrap in a column those little pieces these detail items I wonder if we can make that look a little nicer um, box flex button heading link image Badge, maybe. I think we could probably switch those to badges. So if we go into details. So we'll do bad, and it just gives you, yeah, it's just text, okay. So we'll do badge. is almost in a grid.
parentheses. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's not putting enough padding in there. Um, so how does it know what? Equals two. I think I'm gonna put this in a text. I'm not quite sure why it's not fitting it in there. No one does. Why is that not? It's like these have some sort of width built into them. So there's definitely a width being applied. No wrap. Um, doesn't seem like it's actually. Uh, act I mean, we we tested it. Definitely not an issue with the text. Cat is going nuts over the pillow. So we've got enough room for them. Or do we? So we set eight here, right? Maybe I do five, four. Yeah, interesting. So. 
so I don't need that. Um, I guess this is really less of a grid and more of a flex box thing, isn't it? Flex, flex, flex. Yeah, I definitely like that a lot better. Um, I might need to pull up the flex documentation though, so. We just sort of wanted to. Uh, oh, I can wrap. Flex wrap. Wrap. Um, we want it to stretch out if it can. So, CSX. Hey, look at that. Can you tell that I go to this very often? <laughs> So we don't want it to grow necessarily. We mostly just want it to space around. So justify content. Justify content should be space around. Then we also want to put some margin on this whole piece. There we go. I'm okay with that. This text coloring is kind of awkward, but I think that can be better adjusted on the user's end. Um, so if we have had notes, it would show up below this. I think this is probably all good right here. Inspiration, I think, is the only thing that we need to deal with. Mostly because, so, we're linking all of that. Inspired by, so this whole thing gets linked. Which, I guess isn't the worst. But I feel like maybe we could do one of these other um, embed alert that's probably too much card image link forms label message maybe I think probably message would look cleaner than trying to do this divider thing. And we can just set this whole thing to be a message. It's not giving us much padding on the bottom, but 
And I think I'm going to take, I'm only going to link. I think I'm going to do this as two separate pieces. Just trying to get nuts. Okay. Don't you get any ideas? <laughs> he got an idea. Go down, buddy. Okay. Box is defined, but never used. We can take care of that. No unused expression. Surprised if we don't get the margin at the bottom. I thought that was a. Hmm. Hi, buddy. We don't really care about the width so much. Kind of like that being a separate piece inspired by. But I think we're likely going to want to do a little bit more to make that look nice. I think that's fine for right now, though. OK. I feel like this is probably a good stopping point. We can save what we got. Um, So switch. So these two go hand in hand. So we switch. Switch recipes to cards. I'm not sure I like those badges. I'm gonna have to start asking for input on that kind of stuff. Um, and then switch the inspired by to a message. Okay. Go ahead and push that up. We have not pushed this branch yet, so we will, whoa, calm down there. And my 
Cancer's turn to get naughty. Nope. No. Okay. So we went through and updated all of our components to the new theme UI components. We got rid of all of our isolation in the process. We tweaked our styles a little bit to use some of the new components as well. And we split out the helmet pieces. I think that was probably about it. Uh, let's double check to make sure we don't have any. Yep, those seem fine. So I think we have everything switched over. It'll be some stylistic tweaks. It'll be cats are really getting in trouble. Um, stylistic tweets or boy getting tired here. It's stylistic tweaks. It is potentially dealing with the image sharp consideration in our schema. Um, we can always add more built-in types later. And I think that about covers everything that we need to do. It works on the new air table. Um, and we've set it up to where we can shadow the nav element. All right. Long stream, but we, um, where, what are we at? Two and a half hours, Oof. okay. Um, I don't know if anybody else is streaming here. It is kind of late. Well, we can check. Yeah, we don't really have anybody else streaming here. So I think we're just going to go ahead and end it. I need to follow a couple more, a couple more people so I can uh, make sure to do those raids. All right, uh, have a nice night, or in the case of Naren, a nice day. <laughs> See you later.